Hello and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the material databases and how we can configure and control those. So first thing we want to take a look at is where are these database files for the materials being stored. So we can go to system options, file locations, and from the drop down we want to choose the material databases. And taking a look here, you'll notice there are a number of program files and program data locations. These are some of the standard default locations, but we want to add or at least show, in this case, a uh, secondary location, which we might be able to share to other users. This may typically be in, say, a PDM vault or a network drive location. And I want to add a new material library to this uh, location here. So we just want to make note of these file locations as we're, we're working on things. Let's go into the material dialog window here. And I want to make a new library for my new database. I'm going to right click in the gray space here and select new library. And you'll notice it's going to one of the default locations for program data. That's not where I want to save it. So I'm going to go and look for my uh, custom location that I made on my storage drive here, and I'm just gonna give this database a name to make it unique. So I'm gonna save that. I now have a library available here, and I can start making uh, categories within that library to further organize what materials are gonna be within here. I have some for wood, and I might make some for metal. Once these categories are made, I can now also include materials themselves. So I'm just gonna start right-clicking and going into new material give them a name so that they're unique. And when they get created, they have default information input into them for things like elastic modulus, Poisson's ratio, items that are important to simulation uh, analysis for, for these parts that use this material. These things can be customized or changed based on results maybe you're getting from testing or from some other third-party uh, material database as well. Other things that can be customized within these materials are going to be things like appearances, uh, crosshatch patterns, and the like. I do have another database here that was made previously, and I want to um, copy over some of the information from uh, this database to the other one. There's a couple ways we can do that. You could copy and paste the uh, individual materials over. Um, another way that this can be done is through the uh, is through the material files themselves. They are easily uh, editable within Notepad. So I'm just going to open up the custom materials SLD MAT file. You'll see in Notepad it just comes up as this code here. We want to go down and look for the classification for that particular metal or bimetal material. We're looking for this uh, tag here, classification. We want to grab everything between the two classification tags in this case for bimetal. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm then going to paste it within to my other materials database here. I'm just doing a little editing. I don't need classification tag in there twice. Might get a bit of an error. So I just want to make sure to clean that up. And I should have that new category for bimetal and the material within it. So I'll save that change, close it. And I'll go back into my material window here and I should see that new material category and material itself within my custom materials database. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at the information below.